Okay, Virgos, so we're going to try your reading one more time. So the last reading, there was absolutely no sound and there was an unexpected return. So let's just see what comes out for your reading this time. How to get a new camera. That's just so annoying. Anyway, all right, Virgos, how does your person feel about you right now? So there's hesitation here with the strength card and the chariot. But again, there's movement to make a return. This is how does your person feel? We have Leo and Cancer energy on the board. So again, energy is still somewhat the same here. There's movement. Um, they're not feeling as blocked anymore. They could be drinking a lot over you. They could text you or call you drunk here. Um, and with the tower, it's like it's a shift that they understand that they need to do. Like I have to take action to make an effort to um, work in Virgo's good gracious, right? So it's like I need your love. You know, I miss your affection, and you are very attractive here, Virgos. So They're trying to keep a positive mindset about you. And then we have in these brings new beginnings with coffin, growth, change, liberation, trying to go through a transition. So the say her Virgo. So, yeah, love. I know is your love is unconditional, right? But it kind of took a separation to kind of figure this out. Uh, for those of you who are in, with someone, someone's falling for you. Um, falling for you really hard here. They didn't see this coming, but um, it's happening really fast, okay? So we have another Virgo energy. This could just be you kind of anxious and stressed. Like, I don't know if it's work the wrist type energy, you know? You're showing up your energy. You could be dealing with another earth sign. Um, again, they're really feeling the loss of you right now. That That's what's hidden at the moment. Yeah, there you are. Queen of Cups energy, Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups showing up as well. So it's like, I want to heal things with you, but at the same time, you know, your back is turned. So it's like, I don't know if my words is going to matter. I know you're going to um, see me for my actions, which is why it's like a earth. It's like a heart here, right? Ten of Wands that is too heavy to kind of express um you know how they felt and then show you that because I know I'm literally starting from the ground up because I hurt you. So Virgos, they definitely understand. You know, they're watching you for the meantime, doing the healing, the inner work that they need to do right now with coughing, going through a transformation of their own, being cautious about it here, knowing that you could be the one. It's like I lost you and now I'm trying to, you know, bring our love life to our high level of commitment. It's stupid to them. It's like I, I, I'm an idiot. Like I had you and now I got to try to come forward and and resurrect this thing from the death card, Scorpio. You know, to not being patient, but again, taking their time, knowing that, you know, they need to fill their cup up before they can come towards you, right? Because your cup's already filled, Virgos. Whew, that was a lot, right? So we have the Five of Swords energy with the Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Wanting to reestablish things with you, but again, not seeing it, right? The Page of Cups is in reverse. I thought about showing up at your door. I didn't realize how bad I hurt you until now. Yeah, and that loss and that regret. But again, wanting to make it right. Seeing the two cups now, right? Not mourning, kind of still mourning you, but at the same time, seeing that they still have another chance with these two of cups still standing, which the two of cups are right here. So again, wanting to make that stable offer, but being grounded in reality and actually showing you through their actions. And right now, they're feeling kind of hopeless to do that, but the end game is you, Virgos. Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Here's the apology for them not really owning up or manning up, woman enough to take accountability, pretty much. Because you weren't asking for much for girls, you just wanted them to make an effort and they couldn't even like meet you halfway, right? So this is why they want a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. Again, traction is still there, but they don't want to come forward just with traction here. You know, they do see a beautiful life with you, a beautiful future that's stable and full of love and trust and honesty. So with the chariot, their goal in mind is to make this work, to make this work, you know, but leaving their old ways out in the code and knowing that a relationship is an equal give and take. And with the will of fortune here is all in divine timing. So again, they're no longer grounded or um, guarded here, they're releasing that defensiveness that they always had, and they're trying to meet you literally halfway, right? So you can see <laughs> the beginning of the reading leads to them towards the end here, you know, still trying to um, get through some lessons, right? Because yes, it has everything to do with you, Virgos, but, this, but you're protected, right? You're safe and divinely guided. This person has a lot of issues and healing that they need to do because your vibration is high, Virgos. They need to get there. 
and they're just going through what you had to get through unfortunately so we have second chance second chance is coming here leap of faith is safe to make the move that you're considering so either you want to let go or walk away no matter what you know keep a positive positive mindset to manifest what you want again they do feel deeply regret which is why they're coming in to return for some of you four days to four weeks here lean on your inner circle during this time or leaning on their support and again wanting your forgiveness forgiving yourself for another will help you move forward and it's the only way you know it's kind of like do or die here right i was unavailable like i said for some of you you're going to move forward and focus on new love but we also have patience everything will unfold in divine timing you know, so you got to know your worth. Do you want to keep going through this, right? Heart to heart conversations is on the horizon, though. But, you know, the time apart from your partner is here. Obviously, we see that. But now it's like I'm realizing that, you know, I feel like you're my person. A lot of chemistry and attraction. But again, is that enough? I'm afraid to contact you. I will wait for a sign. I know I crossed the line with you. Because again, you're, you're unbothered right here. I don't ever wait for anybody. I hate that card. Um, you and I were too young. Let me have to remember every detail of that day. Yeah, I bury myself in work to forget you. So no matter how hard they try, they're still kind of love struck over you, Virgo. So you're reminiscing about the past, kind of mourning you. I want to clear up some things, and they will in due time. But right now, you know, they're just going through karma, and they're going to continue to feel the loss of you, Virgos. All right, I'm gonna leave it there, guys, and have a wonderful week.